Hello, YouTube. All right, I just got my uh, I just got my key, my car back from Rob. It is 6:36 uh, p.m. Thursday, August 25th, 2022. I'm debating debating between walking, kind of jaywalk directly to my car, or walking to the stoplight. Uh, shit, jaywalking it is. Yikes! Oh, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Uh, so what did I say? 6.37, Thursday, August 25th, 2022. Um, um, and, uh, wow, I got creative parking the car over here. I guess they're letting them use the sidewalk nowadays. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he said, said he had a lot of drama going on today and wasn't able to, uh... Ah. Oh. Okay, that ain't fit good. Oh, I remember what I did here. I pulled the, uh... I, uh, did kind of a preemptive strike on Rob, and I pulled the, uh, phone mount as far forward as I could so that, uh... So that, um... He would be uh, less tempted to try to pull it down or mess with it because, you know, for some reason he struggles to get in the car. Or maybe his help struggles to get in the car with the phone mount in its usual position. Oh, oh it is hot in here. It's been hot today. Um, so as, as I predicted in my uh, extra long um, walk this morning, which, uh, you know, I was, when I ran out of space on my phone, I was thinking about, thinking about shooting another video, I kind of decided against it, because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of overdoing it <laughs> lately, and, and, uh, yeah, like, all, all the videos that I uploaded today from my journey through Tempe yesterday, yeah, they're getting, they're getting, like, single-digit views, so, um, which, which is kind of funny because I've I've said I've said from the get go that it's you know I'm not really doing this for views I'm just kind of doing it to have a record of my life and my journey and whatnot and um, but I mean it, at this point I'm doing long enough and I, and I look at my little control panel and when I when I see something's actually get getting views it, it uh, I'm not gonna lie it feels kind of good. It's like, wow, somebody, somebody was interested in that. You know, either that or the algorithm just made a stupid recommendation and they watched a few seconds of it and they're like, okay, this guy's, this guy's boring and skipped on. Um, and I, I know there's a way, I know there's a way to get to the, uh, what you call it, the, um, Get the word. Um, I was reaching on the floor to make sure I got my headphones in the car, and I do. I thought I did. Um, now I was looking for my looking for my good headphones as I was heading out to get the car. You know, I took took the bus to get the car, and um, couldn't find them. And I was like, yeah, I think they're in the car. So anyway, I just felt the need to look them forward and make sure they were where I thought they were in the car. Uh, and they were, so all is good. Um, anyway, um, dang, before I was reaching for that, I was, I was saying something, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Um, anyway, views. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny every now and then I notice I got, I got some that are getting a bunch of views, so it, uh, oh, oh, um, control panel, I don't know how to get to it. Uh, Statistics, metrics. I forget what the heck YouTube calls. It. But there's a, there's a thing where it shows you um, like where where your views are coming from and, and um, like geographically, and then also you know whether it's people people being recommended by the algorithm or people that are actually searching for it or dude you need to pick a lane because you're in my lane. Um, or something they 
asshole trying to power, park, pass on the right, so there's that. Um, um, people searching for the video, whatnot. And, and, and then it, it also shows like the average length of uh, time people are spending watching it. It's been a long time since I've seen that. I forget exactly how I get to it. Um, again, I'm not too worried about it. For the most part, I'm just kind of scrolling through um, a page where I upload the videos for them. I, I'm doing 90% of this. I, well, at this, this point, yeah, I'm doing about 99% of what I do on my channel. I'm doing... Now, granted, I'm shooting about half my videos on my, uh, on my iPhone 7, 7 Plus. Uh, this I'm actually shooting on Obama phone number three, which is a... I don't really know what the hell it is. It, uh, it says T-Mobile on the back. It has a TCL splash screen. I, I notice on some some control panels it'll say Revel 4, R-E-V-V-L 4, I think, whatever that is. Um, anyway, it's uh, whatever... whatever um, Assurance Wireless was, you know, giving out, giving out as a free gov government phone on the on the Lifeline program. I think I'm on the Lifeline program. I might be on the on a different program. I've noticed there's two different federal programs that they administer, um, and I noticed at one point like I bounced from one to another. I don't know. I just know it's a free phone, and it it. Uh, and, I, and, 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 and to be fair, it's not bad for what it is. In fact, it's kind of embarrassing, but at this point, I would say I use it five times more than I use my iPhone. Um, I really don't like the iPhone 7 Plus compared to the 6S Plus. Um, and a lot of that stems from the fact that, you know, I thought it would be because it doesn't have, to have the headphone jack on it. And come to find out, that's been kind of a kind of a minor thing. Uh, a lot of it stems from that it's got a different type of home button. It's like not a, the the success home button is like just basically a physical button that you push in, but it also has a thumbprint sensor. Um, this is I don't know I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. Um, and then the thumbprint sensor doesn't work, so that's that's a large part of it of why I don't use it as much. It uh, it's a pain in the ass to log into because I've got to do, I guess the new version of iOS uh, forces you to have a six-digit PIN number instead of a four-digit PIN number. So I, I've got to do a PIN number to get into it every time, and it's it's like dialing a phone number just to unlock the phone. Um, you know, when you count the, 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 the home button, you know, six, six taps on the screen plus the tap on the home button. And then it, it always seems to take me more than one try on the home button to get it to, I don't know, for some reason, whatever I do on the home button, which I've is, is I'm trying to do what is muscle memory for me on the success plus of using a success plus for many years. And it just, whatever it is that does it, the seven plus just doesn't always sense that as a button push I don't I don't get that um, but it's it's awkward and I, I wonder if that just is that if that's how the 7 plus is or if it's just because mine is a little wonky um, this whole phone has been wonky pretty much since the day I bought it like sometimes the screen just is it just is it just acts absolutely ridiculous to the point to the point phone isn't even usable um, but um, yeah, um, the biggest reason though, is that I have yet to get it logged into my Google account. So, um, that's the biggest reason. And most everything that I do is, is Google. I mean, YouTube, that's the obvious big one, but also my, uh, Google Drive, also my, uh, Gmail. Those are the big three. And um, since I'm not able to get into any of those... Uh, on my iPhone. Now I do use I do I do use YouTube not logged in and the algorithm has somehow assigned that like it the algorithm has figured out that like what I like to watch on it because it's definitely recommending stuff that I like but it's it's not it's not logged in. I can't comment or thumb up videos or create a history or anything with it. Anyway I'm going in to get my sip and save drink 
Um, I'm going to leave this recording because <laughs> that just seems to be what I do when I pop into Circle K's this day, especially these days, especially ones that sometimes have interesting uh, action going on in front of them. Uh, don't see much happening here today, but uh, hey, you never know. Anyway, maybe it'll be boring footage, maybe it'll be interesting, but uh, wow, now there's something you don't see every day. And the camera didn't get it. There's a, a guy kind of looked like a homeless person with the stuff he's carrying. And he looked to be pushing 60. And uh, was super thin and was wearing skinny jeans with legs about the size of the sleeves on my long, long sleeve shirts. Yeah. Very interesting. wonder if he needs a ride back to Portland. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get my drink. I'll be right back.
Oh man, that was that was not one of my brighter moments. Oh, I totally forgot I got my sip and save this morning. I ended up having to break a 20 to buy a damn fountain soda. Oops. You know what? I think I got enough time to, um, I think I got enough time to drop a, uh, I got a box of recycling in the car and I got a, a box of remotes. I'm, I mentioned, I casually mentioned it. I know in a vlog yesterday or maybe the day before, but I got a box full of remotes, which... You know, kind of makes me sound like a crazy hoarder. Like, why do I even have that? Um, there's a reason. Um, it's because I'm a hoarder. No, um, actually, the, it, well, I mean, there's that. But um, two reasons. Um, one, I do I do collect and refurbish uh, audio-video components. So I do like to keep a large stock of uh, remotes that are... that that are known to be compatible across different models from certain brands. Um, I also, um, pretty much anytime I come across a free remote, I'm taking it, like just taking it, uh, just in case it lines up with something that I get. But the, uh, the other reason is, um, now granted I haven't sold them in quite some time, but I've mentioned several times, I've got an eBay store. In fact, I think there's a link in my channel somewhere, like somewhere in the channel about page. Um, and I haven't been putting much effort into my eBay store for the last, like, probably four or five months. But, um, my, um, uh, one of the things that I have sold and have done well selling when I've sold them on my eBay store is remote controls. Um, I'm usually pretty good about looking up the model number or, or, or Sometimes there's a model number just kind of hidden inside the battery compartment. And I'm pretty good about looking those up and then finding, you know, specifically what models of components uh, they're good for. And then when I write my description, not only while I, you know, while I test them and make sure they work and, and take the pictures of them, but I'll, uh, I'll make sure the description lists like every model of... Uh, like specifically what it was the what what model receiver cassette deck or you know dvd player what the hell ever what it sold with and then i'll also list other models that it's known to be compatible with that way when people are doing a search for a remote trying to replace a remote on on, uh, on ebay they can they can find me um anyway that's not something i've been actively doing lately uh the other day i forget what day it was but trying to kind of straighten things up in my apartment. I knocked that box down and dumped its entire contents out and was uh, was super frustrated when I did it. And, uh, um, Super, super frustrated when I did it, and um, God, I'm so hot and sweaty right now. Uh, I was really open Rob would have my AC fixed. Um, anyway, the uh, um, yeah, I've I've had pretty good pretty good results when I've sold them on eBay, but that's not something I'm working right now. Uh, I inadvertently dumped them the other day, and. Um, yeah, at this point, they're just better in my storage. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this rolling again. Actually, no, I'm going to stop this. I'll start another video uh, as soon as I'm leaving here. So thanks for watching.